was stuck in the middle of the fucking draw. And welcome back, everybody. It's still June seventeenth, depending on where you're at. I don't know. I know digits over in the EU, and I'm pretty sure it's June eighteenth over there. Uh, Is that right? It's right. Yeah, yeah. It's six hours <laughs> ahead over there. About five yeah. to six hours ahead over there. So yeah. Anyway, back to business. I digress. <laughs> <laughs> this is Squad Ops. We're hosting a One Life event. We do this a couple times a week. My name is the Muff Bandit. I'm here with CMYK Matter. What's going on, everybody? And Penn's here, too. Don't think he's not. Mm -hmm. He's here. Hiding behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, he says hi. He's just lurking. <laughs> anyway, we've got a One Life event going on tonight. This is Operation Coyote Ridge. It's the first time we've broadcast this event, and it's actually today is the first day we've run this event. It's actually going really well. It's infantry yep. mostly. Deals with coordination, communication, and, and tactics. Yeah, the general like philosophy <laughs> is that Russia gets to drop a fob in three grid squares, and the U.S. has to attack and take down that fob using only infantry, two transports, and two logistics trucks. So it is all about those infantry combat tonight. It really is, and we'll see. It. We'll see it get going. That you, uh, the Russians, right here. I'm following the Russians. Their commander is actually Karmakut. He does this. He's the founder of Squad Ops, uh, a very good game tactician, a skilled player. Who's he got supporting him over there? And he's got four squad leaders underneath him. Those being Benbot, Tedish, Nasty Nate, and SM Pure Paradise. As you can see, the Russians are spawning in like crazy. It's like a rabbit's nest here. They're just breeding. Just keep coming. They just keep coming. Anyway, I'll kick it over to CMYK Matter. He's going to tell you about the U.S. soldiers that are going to be attacking. And like I said, all infantry, all they're going to have for vehicles is transports and lodgies to move them from place to place. Go ahead, Matter. All right. Over here on the U.S. side, their commander is Kirkley, uh, season commander, somebody who's been around squad ops for quite a while, knows what he's doing. And working under him are going to be four squad leaders, all of them competent, all of them experienced. We've got Shadowed Ritual, Satan, Google Trex, and Big Yes. All of them well experienced in squad, squad ops, just not experienced in this op yet, due to how new it is. Well, that's right. That's what makes this so fun is nobody's experienced in this operation yet because Absolutely. they've done it. Absolutely. All new. All new. Feels good. I love to see that kind of stuff. It's nice to see people learning as the rounds are going on. Yeah, very much so. And that's what's really cool about this operation is because all three FOB locations are next to each other. It's one just big rectangle of locations that the uh, Russians can place their FOB. Yep. And, and actually, compared to last round, first round we saw Kirkley place his way to the east side in Lima 9. And now Karma Cuts put his in Juliet 9 on the far west. So cool. this is going to be a completely different match. But look at the trees, look at the cover, look at the open fields. This is this can be so different depending how they defend, how they attack, how they approach each and other. It's, it's all different for us. We're up here flying around, but ultimately... There's guys down on the field. They've got a lot different view than we do. Maybe we should go over who those guys are, actually. It's the same battle, but it's the other. Yeah. Ram, ram, ram. Let's see. Who do we got here? Get in the fire. We need to work. Oh, yeah. The cameras are awesome. Yeah, these guys are the ones making it uh, making it really look cool, really look interesting for you guys. We've got Jay Remick. Go. Yeah, we'll give ben everybody a good 16. look. Yeah, give everybody a good look as we go through. Benbot 16. Merrick 362. Tedish. Tedish is flying around. It's crispy. <laughs> Truth Realm. <laughs> you just laddered up or a staircase up. Your girlfriend needs a medic. A medic. Yeah. <laughs> Best <laughs> pony. <laughs> Didn't know that. Uh, 
Han Solo? And if I take two logies, Google I tricks? One, one player who can't get in. Because they only take. A crazy two. Russian. And finally, Digit. That is a lot of cameras for you guys. A lot of angles from the boots on the ground, guys. That's in addition to Muff and myself, CMYK Matter, who will be flying around up above, taking a look, seeing what we got, seeing what we got around here. The U.S. just getting themselves prepped right now. They'll probably do a briefing here before too long, and then we will get rock and rolling once we got a live time. How are the Russians doing down there? Are they getting briefed up? Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, actually, the doing a command brief right now. See them all together. And they uh, actually, for the most part, they're all grouped up ready for briefing, which is great. Absolutely. It's really cool. Everyone's just kind of grouping together. They're waiting for the, the big group meeting. Just heard call the U.S. is ready for a platoon brief, so that'll be coming in shortly. Oh, there we go. Yep. The Russians are just starting. It's actually Karma Cut talking, so I'm going to oh, zoom in on them. Can listen. Yeah, let's listen for a second here. Squad 1 is going to be on the MG marks, or HMG marks on the southeast. Uh, they'll be watching these HMG areas from their position. So Squad 1 will have these areas under their um, line of sight, okay, from that ridge line. Squad 1 is there. Squad 2 is going to be in the target mark. They're going to be watching everything from our west to our northwest. On those target marks and then squad three is going to be in the mortar marks watching everything east and north uh east and north everyone makes sense that makes sense squad four will be on the point direct to qrf to whoever's in contact uh so if squad two is getting hit on the west i'm going to send the entirety of squad four to reinforce them if we get a strength count and we see the entire team i, I might pull a squad out um to uh, again from their position to uh, assist everyone got the MG will go down. Once it goes down, everyone uh, note the line of sight on the MG so that you can work around. Um, and then Squad 4 and Command will hold at the FOB until contact, constructing the defenses. Everyone got All right, that's pretty much it. Any questions? Uh, what's, a, uh, what's each squad's limit on sandbags? If, uh... um, let... Squad four and command get down the majority of the defenses and then uh whatever points you have for sandbags. We're only using sandbags. Don't build a bunker or anything like that. So just I'll gotcha. give you the go ahead for your uh area lo uh defenses. Yep. All right, that's solid. Uh any questions? Uh, just uh I All right, well we heard most of the Russia plan. I know. We're gonna sling you over to the US side, see how they're gonna plan on attacking. We'll kick it over to Matters camera. And they're going to get Absolutely. all the way the fuck behind them. We're not going to do what Karma did in the EU op today, so we're not going to send one squad to sprint willy-nilly down that hill while taking MG fire. What we're going to do, we're going to fucking bum rush those guys in there in the two Logi trucks to get into this next ditch. So that way, we've got guys on the north, guys on the south. Uh, and they're not going to be expecting guys on the south, because everyone who goes south gets fucked. But that's not going to happen to us if we got two Logi trucks bum rushing it in there. Sound good? When uh, we leave main. Yeah, I'm ready to die, sir. Everybody <laughs> else besides Squad 2 will mount into the two transport trucks. We'll take the two transport trucks to that rocket marker where we will dismount. Squad 1 will lead the way, making them to this location here. Squad 2 will be following them to there. And Squad 3 will be on the far, or Squad 4 will be on the far, far south. So. Uh, MG marker on the far south is squad one, mortar marker is squad three, northern MG marker is squad four. That's going to be a nice slow push all the way through, clearing out enemy contact. Move tree to tree, stay in cover, move as slow as you have to. I don't want to see people fucking sprinting ahead and getting popped sprinting, you know. Just move at a crouch, move at a crawl if you need to. Just stay nice and safe. Uh, stagger your smoke pop. So, you know, have a buddy team pop smokes uh, and then advance to as far as that smoke cover allows. And the next buddy team pop smokes and so on and so forth. Uh, once we have taken contact on that northern side, that's going to mark the signal for squad two to move in with their logic trucks. Hopefully we'll pull most of the attention away and they can get into those uh, that next ravine relatively safely. Uh, any questions, comments?
right, that's what I like to hear. Uh, squad leads, break them out. Go ahead and uh, go over any finer details you have, and then uh, we'll get a live time set here, Rich, pretty soon. All right, well, you just got to listen in on the U.S. side. Looks like they're going to be setting themselves up for a west-to-east push. They did say that they're going to do something kind of interesting, though. It looks like they're mounting up Squad 2 in two of the Lodgies, and they're going to use them as kind of a spearhead. They're going to shove those Lodgies in quick and fast into the line, the enemy line, and see if they can set up a forward position basically from the south it looks like so we'll see how that goes for him that's a little bit different there he is. Uh, what yeah that's actually really good let's keep it let's keep it diverse this is i mean right? Everybody trying brand new strategies every single round we're seeing something new yeah, somebody says that... hey you know you, know, you remember we'll earlier this. today, we were that full squad on the north. We got a full oh, squad yeah. on the north right here for the U.S. Or for the Russians. Yeah. On the north side on the ridge. Fire team on the west, though, where the deafening happened early, earlier today. That was, a, that, was a rough little, <laughs> that was a rough little corner. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. Ah, neither was I. So they've got fire teams spread out in the... Bushes, trees, forest, whatever you want to call it, up to the northwest. Not so much to the south. It'll be interesting to see. Actually, yep, full squad of the south, too. They are waiting on a squad lead to get joined back in. He got disconnected, but after he comes back in, I think he's already back in. He's just getting himself re-kitted and all set back up, but then we'll be getting a live time and we'll be getting ready to roll. So for now, we're just in a little bit of a holding pattern until they get everything organized. Comrade Commissar. He's Looks like the U.S. has decided to go ahead and mount up in their vehicles before live time, get them all organized. Probably a smart move, considering you want to be ready to move whenever it goes live. Oh, definitely. That's what they did in the first round. <laughs> Absolutely. They were all loaded up, ready to rock. I guess there's there's two schools of thought, right? <laughs> the first you school is, you know, we mount up, bro. we get in there quick, we start the assault quick, uh, and we bro. just shove through before they have time to get too many defenses. The other school of thought is, we're attacking. We've got time. We can hang out for a little bit, take our time, plan our approach, and really approach it from a way that's tactical, logical, safe, so those are two schools of thought. We'll see which they try to do this time around. I heard Kirkley saying that he wanted these guys to play it slow, stagger their smokes, keep each other covered, and really do it in a method that everyone is covered by those around them. So we'll see how that works out for him. You shouldn't be in contact with No, I don't There we go. I like to stay in front. Oh man, Tunnel Boy says his game crashed and he can't rejoin. Well, you know, we we gave out the password to you. Or Hyper did. Yeah. Try to get back in. Get back never in. Mind. He, says, he, got, oh. he said okay, never mind. Good. He must have got back in. Good for him. He's good. For, he's good to go. Get in there and enjoy yourself, man, Tano. We we are live in one minute. We got the call, so that's nice. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool to see where they go in. What did what do you what did you get as their strategy? All I can see for the Russians is they're spread out. <laughs> they're just totally spread out around the, their point. So it looks the like for them, they are going to shove down this western approach, try to loop around sector two or perhaps around sector one. Then they're going to set up, dismount, and they are going to send their two lodges down to the south of the Juliet nine, Kilo nine, Lima nine area. And they're going to use those two lodges once the push starts from west to east and they find a location. They're going to use those two lodges to insert a squad as close as they possibly can from the south to the actual FOB proper. So we'll see how that goes. Excellent. Kirkley noted that in the EU op earlier today, there was a problem where Karma pushed a squad across the south and... A good amount of people died just running across an open field, so they don't want to repeat that. And we are live. We are live. We are go, go, go. Looks like the Got Russians it. have good positioning. A couple of the guys are moving across the field, though. Just to get... 
a little bit better out there on at least for the start of the run. Absolutely. We'll see how they get themselves positioned. Covering those gaps in your line is one of the absolutely most important things that you can do as a commander, making sure that you've got no gaps in those lines. Over here, we've got two Logi trucks pushing out east. This is all containing squad two. They're shoving themselves out east. Looks like Satan is here commanding this squad. And they are going to get themselves set up over here. Maybe act as a diversion squad. We'll see how that goes. One thing to note about this, I was squad leading earlier in a position that was on the north side of the ridge. And you can see the MSR that they just drove down. So if they had any squad leads positioned up to the north, I'm not sure if they did. But if they did, they would definitely be able to see that MSR and see these two lodgies. Well, you know what? They have people here, but I don't know if it's actual squad leaders. I don't think it is hmm. squad leaders. So I don't think they saw them. However, they're all over the rocks, and they're covering really well. They'll, they'll definitely see somebody coming in. But look at all those foot soldiers. Absolutely. And you know what? Maybe that's what Expit did earlier today. Maybe they just all are going to walk in. That is actually what Expit did. I went back and looked at it, talked to him a little bit, and basically he pushed his guys south a little bit, and then dismounted everyone and just foot soldiered it in. It's crazy. All right. Well, we'll we will see a little bit of flank from the U.S., at least off to the far east. We'll see how that goes. Uh, there's two lodgies trying to push in. It's going to be a little rough. We'll see how that goes. The main force... The main force of them, though, pushing in on this western approach. Ignore any natural. Shoving energy. themselves up this tree line, trying to keep. Oh, they're gonna run right into Jack quiet. Reynolds. Oh no, Jack! Jack. Is right there. Just basically act I'm gonna try to get there in time. He he's pushing out, I think, to scout. Shattered yeah. ritual coming oh. up here. He pushed himself just up to that line of departure, as far north as he possibly could. They're crossing this road. Nobody has seen Jack Reynolds yet. I even heard Karma just say, remind Jack Reynolds not to push across that line. There's a He's rule that, they, that the Russians cannot go north of the 7-8 line, so Jack Reynolds is right there. Basically He's right on the Right cusp. on it. I wonder if he sees these guys. I'm not sure if he does. Spread it out, guys. Get space. I don't think he does either. But as you can see, there are a shit ton of red triangles right in front of Jack Reynolds. He's running away right now. I'm right in front of him. Yeah, he's he's not keen on sticking around there if there's a lot of guys. But I don't think he even saw him. He's just pushing out there trying to see if they take that western approach. You know, I've got to worry, though. If he calls that he doesn't see anything, then this entire team that's pushing up through to his east is going to sneak by. The U.S. has squad two there. That would be SM Pure Paradise's squad. Watch him. Ah, there you that, go. That general direction. I think Jack Reynolds is part of that. No, he is not. I don't know whose squad he's in. Hmm. But it looks like he's heading back that way. We'll see how that goes. Oh, he's parallel with him. If he looks, he might see him. Sneaking along there. Just hanging out in that bush, being a bush ninja. Um, negative. We're just uh, watching the uh, northwest uh, to southwest. Oh, like. that's not good to hear. Shattered Ooh, Ritual, like, one of yeah. the squad leads. Yeah, he just had a crash, so he is out for right now. My fire team can't see too far out of the woods. I'm going to see if I can reposition. We'll see what happens with that. He... If he rejoins before they take contact, then he will be able to get a rally dropped and join back in. Otherwise, he will not be able to join. Squad four is holding this position, but we are ready to... He's probably not getting back in, though, because he was a squad leader. And he was, he, yeah. He's the one who would drop the rally, so there's no one... Well, to... lead has transferred over to, over to someone else, I believe, at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they'll group up at least yeah, get a rally down for him just in case 
We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. In the meantime, full fledged push by the U.S. Northwest. Coming in. Squad two is here looking. That's per pure paradise's squad. Agalock on the U.S. side, leading the push with Ram, our MVP hero from the last round. Leading the push into the Russian forces on this hill. They haven't seen anybody yet. There's been no official contact. We just have guys pushing along here, trying to get positioning and keep eyes out. Reminder for you guys, though, if you're watching and enjoying it, stick around until after we are done. And we are going to be giving away a squad key. You can give it to your best friend, give it to your buddy. If you're Jack Reynolds, you can give it to somebody else's wife like you did a few weeks ago. <laughs> that was a good time. That was a good time. That was uh, Google Tracks' wife, right? Yeah, that's correct. Absolutely. She watches the stream sometime. That's why. Shadow of uh, yeah. back. Yeah. Back then. It's always good. And we're on Google Cam. Google Cam, always important. It's a little less fun when Chelsea isn't here to give him a hard time for looking at the sun or anything, you know? Well, you never know. Maybe she'll be playing soon. Right she alongside. Dying right next to her husband. Great, isn't that the best? <laughs> That's the best way to be. <laughs> Team killing with her husband, you know, staring at the sun with him. It'll be good. <laughs> Shadow's in, he's on the freaking rally, and he's good to go. Here he oh, comes. Leave good to away. hear, good to hear. I hate, I hate seeing people get disconnected before the yeah, the op even begins and, and they can't get back in, then that's really unsatisfying. And to lose a squad lead like that, that would be really rough. Uh, Flaming Delta, this is not a game mode, actually. This is something a little bit special. We call this Squad Ops. It is a one-life operation. We set up different objectives, and we have two teams take care of those objectives to the best of their abilities. It is organized, and everybody agrees to having one life. So you die, you go down, you cannot be revived, you can't respawn in. That's it. It is one life. You get one chance at it. And that is all you get. So a little bit special. You can find out more about it by visiting squadops.gg. Get all the info there. Get signed up. Go through our SOTT basic. And you can see what's going on. So that is what this is. Yep, we've been doing this for over a year now. Making these squad mm -hmm. op events. I'm pretty new to it. I've, I've only been here, what, about two months now? So I'm pretty new to it, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, we've we've we're approaching twenty different operations that we've got. They're all different, unique in their own way. Different maps, different objectives, different missions, different everything. We try to keep it dynamic, so that we the ops are replayable with different strategies. This particular one is uh, mainly an infantry-focused operation, which we don't have hardly mm -hmm. any. Just usually Humvees or BTRs or something with a long-range gun that can zoom in on people. But in the same respect, there's lats and RPGs that can take out those vehicles. Speaking of those this time, though, the one thing we do have, since this is infantry-focused, are those grenadiers. They've got ton of grenades that they can rain down hell on emplacements with, and we'll see what they do. Good use of the GL can really change how everything works in these. All right, there's a smoke grenade. Definitely spotted by Turtle Guy 5, Jack Schneidnader, and Absolutely. Dermo Blast. They're starting to form out a line here to the west. Or is that east? No, that's west. Starting to form this line out to the west. Moving people down into position. And then they are going to start this push. You can see them. It's really interesting to watch the kind of tactics that come out of these. Because you see these organized line pushes. You see organized staggered columns. You see files. You, you see bounding. It's really different to see how 
the actual coordination comes into play of squad-based tactics in a one-life event because everybody's trying to do their best to live. You know, you can't just spawn in over and over again. You can't go Rambo. It doesn't work. So you know you what? That, gotta... that smoke grenade got thrown, and they didn't even push. They kept going. It was almost like hmm. a distraction. Yeah, we'll see what they do about it. All right. The the Russians totally know the U.S. are there. That, yep, they're shooting now. Taking their shots. Haven't killed anybody. We've just had our first shots of the game. There it is. We might we might see guys start moving soon. The entire U.S. force is coming in from the northwest. Except for that small Logi truck group. I'm taking shots. I'm taking shots. Oh, yeah. Here comes those shots. Agalock under some fire right now. Yeah, they're cutting loose. Everybody's doing it. Agalock laying down some suppressive. He's got that AR. He is just laying in. Get down on level with him. He can't see much through these trees, but he's going to lay down suppressive fire. Try to let his guys go. And who? Oh, a lot of random shots. Down. Truth Realm Truth goes Realm down. down. Oh. A lot of random. Random shots, it looks like, being fired, but who knows? This advanced force on the west from Karma, quite interesting to see. He he knew that this push was going to be coming, it seems like he called it, and decided to get a really well-set-up advanced force over here, rather than just having them spread out too much. Well, they're starting to get flanked. They're getting wrapped around. They don't quite have enough people. GDL Look at it. start raining. Full army. Yeah, it's the whole army coming in on him. All right, I gotta display. Absolutely. As soon as one of those USGL sits that Logi truck, there's three or four. Oh yeah, look at that. He's honing in. There it is. Jax is down. We're gonna have more. Good grenade. Good grenade launch by somebody. Oh, Merrick, Nasty Nate, Nasty Nate squad moving in. Wrapping up around. Oh, GL's raining in from Ram and Crazy Russian here. Oh, gosh. Get out of there. They're running. What the? He just ditched Turtle Guy 5. Yep. Good luck, Good he says. Good job by Nasty Nate's squad. They took out three up there. He's oh, and Pure Paradise got in. shot out of the Lodgy. Oh, ouch. He was a squad leader. Yep, SM Pure Paradise down. He, he got shot out of that Lodgy. Evans SMA is down. Mighty's by himself, and he is in the thick. He's got a bunch of guys around him. Big Yes is just two rocks away. Mighty doesn't even... Oh! Mighty's getting shot at. He's got to be careful. Big Yes pushes past the, him. Oh, he, he's got him. Oh! Mighty gets Big Yes. Good job. That was a squad leader. That's tough. Mighty's talking That's in tough. local. This big old push laying down a lot of fire. A lot of gunfire coming out. Russians doing a good job. They've got more kills so far. Yep. They're actually falling back a little bit. US taking them as they run away, though. Crazy rushing goes down. Ugh. That is rough. Oh, Karma Cut just ca called Squad 1 back right as the Lodges are moving again. Here they come. Hmm. Get over there and see there's Lodgies coming in. Oh, we talked about helicopter. this. Yeah, rival helicopter, tear gun, Carpy. All right there. Here they come. I don't think they hear him either. Yeah, that's Satan's squad. Squad 2 pushing in. Using those Lodgies to get position. That's a beautiful oh. push. They see him. They're opening up now. Satan's oh, yeah. squad is opening up. Yep. That's actually a great distraction by Satan's squad. Great distraction. Just pulled the, all those guys Beautiful. back. Two, four, six, eight, like eight guys. They just pulled back. While the rest of their squad can push. They're trying to get GLs on them, but they're landing short. Checking out Google. Cam Google right Trex now. is he's pretty much leading, leading the way into the push on uh, the, the Russians for the U.S. That's great. Off to his south, he's got Red Bull and Turtle Guy 5, though. Oh, he's got GL. <laughs> Who's throwing grenades? Red Bull's got sights. Does he have sights on Nordic Nips, or what's he doing? Oh, yeah, he's throwing a grenade. There it goes. It's out. 
See if he gets it. Oh, too far. Oh, Kirkley just got damaged by a grenade. He's commander. Oh, that's not good. Down goes Moose, I think. No, Moose. Yeah, the RPGs Moose went down. will live on forever. So down here on the southeastern push that we have going on, Faf, Alternate 1985, Biff Tannen, Smoshy, Griff, Space Monkey V2.0, Satan, Fatal Donuts, PK Fun, just pushing up, trying to hold the southeastern distraction. They are using the Lodgy now as some sort of shielding while they lay in fire. Currently, though, they're firing at nothing. I'm not sure if they're trying to do that or what the deal is, but... They could just be throwing down random suppression. Looks like it, yep. Russians are doing a really good job, actually. Russians have the kill advantage. Oh, here we go. Satan squad is advancing. That's what it's going to take. They had their best luck when they were pushing. Keaton after, busy. After a hail of gunfire, they started pushing. Fatal Donuts... Baffinator leading the charge. They get hit by a grenade. They get damaged. They're still up, but they are pushing through some hell right now trying to get through this tree line. Karma cuts dropping guys with the 50 cal or the NS, whatever, the bunker. 50. NSV, yep, the NSV. NSV yep. Yeah. Faff and oh, Fatal he's, got he's hit. In work. Now stop. Oh. He's got himself three so far. Being called out. Half and fatal. Trying to lose Excellent this work push. by the Russians. Absolutely. Fatal gets hit again. He's real close to death. He bleeds out. Down goes Fatal Donuts. Faffinator is alone on this push, and they have been halted by some really good Russian fire coming back at him. Great work full to squad. the Russians. It's a full squad holding them off. Not to mention a, another fire team off to their north. PK Ton pushing up. Space Monkey V2.0 trying to get an angle. Oh, fun guy five goes down to the north. And he does. Three more U.S. soldiers are suppressed. Ben bought tear gun and silly goose pushing out to the southeast as well, trying to take this squad on head first. They are not just waiting around. Pushing up on Satan's squad. They're firing in smokes. So that beautiful purple smoke there. <laughs> that is really pretty smoke. I gotta say. Uh, that's a really pretty smoke. I like it. I like it. Satan laying down covering fire, trying to get Faffinator and PK Tun to advance. They're moving up. They're about to run into Ben Bot and Silius Goose face first. We'll see what happens here. Faffinator gets shot. He's down. I think that was Benbot that got him. Yep, Benbot tagged him through the smoke. PK Tun trying to push forward. He's got Benbot and Silius Goose in front of him. We'll see what they can do. And PK Tun goes down as well. Silius Goose and Benbot working on him, taking him out. Russian this Commander push. Karma Cuts saying to hold positions. Well, they're looking good. There's no reason to shift if you're looking as good as you are right now. Yeah, they're doing a good job. They're getting a little bunched up. If they get a GL in their direction, it could hurt, but... The kills... The kills are currently 24 to 11. 24 for the Russians, 11 for the U.S. This push has not gone well for the U.S. at all. But they've still got quite a few guys left. They can make some. Oh, yeah. They can clean it up. They can clean it up for sure. Once you get in, it's, the hardest part is pushing through and getting in to a decent range. Once you can do that, then you can actually clean people up on defense. But making that initial push is where it gets really difficult. You know, I think they may have lost some of their GLs or something. It just seems mm -hmm. a little less explosive-y right now. I'm going to go down. Yeah, you got to keep those GLs safe. Well, that's their main offensive force or defensive, either way. I just heard that Squad 1's command structure has devolved. They no longer have their SL, and it looks like it has fallen to somebody else who might not be communicating so well. We'll see how that goes. But...
it's going pretty good for the Russian so far overall. Let's see if I can make some. Here we go. A lot of those around. There we go. So there's a lot of Russians still. It's little blues. They're still hanging out. You can see they're still shooting back. The reds are spread out. That's to the off to the west right there. You can see I just them heard the spread. I just heard the call out on U.S. comms that they are trying to kind of pull themselves back and reassess the push so once you lose momentum so bad that you have to pull yourself back and reassess i would say your push has been pretty problematic but we'll see what happens from here well as far as it goes off to the east side there's four US four guys left. Left. yep yeah satan smoshy griff and space monkey v 2.0 the only ones here and in the meantime the Russians have multiple squads left, you know. But looks like it. Maybe one and a half squads left for the U.S. and there's like three squads left for the Russians. So it's going really good for the Russians. Absolutely. Good communication, good teamwork. Flow back up to the northwest side here, and it looks like a couple of people taking shots, a couple of shots ringing in over Fulcrum's head. They've still got Mighty, Jays, and Tedish off to their east. Firing back in on them. This, uh, this northwestern approach, it ate some really, really hard fire, it looks like. And they are having a bit of a rough time. Oh, yeah. Bit of a rough time. I was so focused oh, on the southeast there. Jack Reynolds died. Sorry, buddy. No. No, Jack, It'll happen. Please. It'll happen. Oh, Space Monkey goes down. Now we're down to oh. three up in the northwest. I'm sorry, Fulcrum, down in the southeast. Fulcrum, Sightlist, and Creamy Fig over here on the northwest approach still. They seem to be the only ones left of their squad. They're trying to maybe maneuver for a flank from the north, but they've got Mighty Jays and Tedish ahead of them. Going to have a hard yeah, time Yeah, and it looks that. like they're... It looks like they're spreading out. They're just trying to spread out a little bit is what it looks like. Yeah. Tedish keeping eyes on. Sightless putting in some shots. Looks like he's... He might see Tedish, um, or he might not. No, he's... Oh, yeah. Tedish is throwing his smoke. <laughs> Sightless had eyes on him. He was putting in those shots. He knew he was there. It's good to see. That's good eyes from Sightless. Good eyes from Sightless. Gotta, gotta appreciate that. It's hard to see out here on this map, especially those Russians. They've got good camo. And the rest of the U.S. They're coming in. They're just coming straight in from the west side here. Tedish just hanging out here, trying to. Tedish just reported. He's up. saying they took light contact. They're falling back. Is what he said. He put they in a shot. One. Somebody put in a shot on Creamy Fig. He's bleeding. He just bandaged himself up. Oh, there's Remick taking shots. Is Corsair, maybe? or Yeah, takes him out. That might have been Gaming Brandon. Not sure who got him. There's so many of them. Two, four, six, eight, nine. There's a full squad right here. Triton's there. Damon the Rapper. Karma Cut is still in that NSV. Oh, shots coming in at Tedish. Creamy Fig and Sightless putting shots in. He get he hits Tedish. Tedish has the bandage. He's down the hill to my three seventeen. Mighty still up to his north there, holding the angle. Tedish in the fight for his life here against Sightless, Fulcrum, and Creamy like Fig. We'll see. Google Trex took out Jay Remick and then Munger gets taken out. Now Google Trex is down. More Yeats oh. kids was right in the field. He took him out. So, what do we got? Damon the Rapper is way up there. Nordic Nips, or is that? No, Triton. That's Triton. Sightless, Fulcrum, and Creamy Fig. Mighty putting in some shots on Sightless. He gets damaged. Sightless fires back and hurts Mighty. 
They're both pulling back and bandaging. <laughs> Holy cow, Karma Cut's killed five guys so far with that NSV he's in. Wow. Other than that, Tedish squad, three for him, three for Mighty, and three for Evans. Evans is dead currently. Yeah, Tedish and Mighty have been doing some great work up here on this push. Well, not push, I guess. It's just a good defense, but holding that line. Oh, oh GL. Mighty hates a GL. Just blows the shit out oh. of him. His body went flopping like a dead monkey. That was fantastic. <laughs> And Tedish says, that's enough for me. I'm out. <laughs> Triton's down. That's another kill for Karma Cut, I think. Damon yeah, the Rapper's the only one left up to the northeast. I'm sorry, that's southwest. And then the Creamy Fig, Fulcrum, and Sightless. Is it about four left? There's only four left for the Russians. Or, I'm sorry, for the U.S. Yeah, there's only four. Oh, no, five, six. Smoshi and Griff. Yeah. That's what's left over from Satan Squad that was down there on the southeast. So it looks like they've lost everybody except for Smoshi and Griff. Just these two guys hanging out here on the south, trying to do what they can to get across this field and push in. This is a really tough angle to try to push. We'll see if they follow this tree line up on their right or if they try to maybe crawl across the field. Either way, they're about to run out of concealment. This tree line does not last forever. Oh, yeah. They could they could very well push farther to the west to that next yeah. tree line over and try to wrap Absolutely. around where the rest of their team died. Uh, in the meantime, on the Russian side, uh, the squad leader's like, What's, what should we do? And Karma says, find hard cover somewhere. Find hard cover, mm -hmm. bunker down. On the U.S. side, communication is still up. Sightless and Griff are talking to each other, saying, you know, what should we do? Where should we coordinate? Where should we push? And it looks like they're trying to get themselves regrouped the best that they can. So there's still some communication on the U.S. side from people passing the baton to FTLs. Oh. Damon the Rapper tries to push across the field and gets shot. He does not go down. He's just bleeding. He bandages himself up and resumes crawling. Oh, yeah. I think we saw your push, Jack Reynolds. I think we did. Oh, yeah. We did. We saw we saw Jack's push. Oh, yeah. He'll just have to watch the replay. Right. I mean, hey, you get to listen to me and Muff later on, you know. Nothing bad about that, right? So still sightless and creamy fig to the north against Tedish Kahuna, Zeno, Pokesmot, Magnetic. Fulcrum's in there, too. Absolutely. Smoshy and Griff still down here on the south trying to do what they can. And then Damon the Rapper in that field. Not many U.S. left. Not many U.S. left at all. No, they've, they've got a good, maybe a full squad's worth-ish, but... They're all spread out they're to hell. So spread out. Yeah, they're very spread. Oh, Tedish and Fulcrum about to go down. Oh, Tedish get hit by uh, Creamy Fig. Creamy Fig laying in the fire. Tedish is Fulcrum pushing up. That's going to be his last bandagers. Oh, oh, the GL. Come. Oh, he lives. How did he live? Perfectly on the other side of that tree. That tree absorbed every bit of damage from that, it looks like. Wow. And now Fulcrum is the bandaging. Luck. Tedish is laying there because he has no idea where they're coming from. Kahuna's looking. Trying to peek the tree. Tedish hiding there. Oh, Tedish hit Fulcrum. A... Yep, he's bleeding. Oh, and he takes down him down. Down he goes. Look. That was Kahuna. Kahuna, yeah, Kahuna, Kahuna, Kahuna took him out. out. And Creamy Fig hits Kahuna. And takes Kahuna him down. down. Oh, maybe it was Silas that took him down. Tedish takes down Silas. Yeah. Makes and Creamy takes Fig. down. Creamy fig. That's it. That's so it that's on the it northern the side. Here. Boom. Tedish's squad wipes them. Not a lot left for Tedish's squad, though. So they, they paid the price, but they were victorious, ultimately. Yeah. In the meantime, oh, down north. Griff is down. Mori eats kids. Is by himself up here. He's got Smashy left. Last man. That's Smashy's it. Smashy's the last man. Yeah, Damon must have went down. Damon the rapper. So it's yep, Smashy and Mori eats kids close to each other, but... Russia has the advantage unless uh 
Last Unless man standing, crazy Smashy happens. for this. Yep, for the Smashy. US. Let's get rid of these names. Get those out of the way. Uh, crawling does not increase bleed out, um, but bleed out. You know, if you if you're hit and you are close to death, there's not much you can do. Sometimes you'll just bleed out. But last guy here, Smashy, just holding this angle, trying to see what he can see through these fields. It's hard to tell from up here, but if we get down in close, you can see that these fields provide a lot of concealment. Oh, him and Morty's kids are so close. Oh, Morty, Morty sees, him. sees him. Oh, he, he hasn't killed it. Here uh -oh. comes a grenade. Grenade. Oh, it's right on him. It's right on him. No, it's too far. It's too far. Oh. <laughs> no. He's bandaging, though. I wonder if Morty's kids can hear him bandage. He has to. That's close. Another grenade. Oh, smoke. Oh, he smoke. saw that go right over him. Just shoot through the grass, Mori. He's not looking right at him. Smosh, he's just crawling around like a snake. Look at him. <laughs> snake in the grass. A Absolutely. The grass. And actually, Mori's kids isn't even looking at him now. Oh, nope. gosh. Smosh, he's right next to him. Shots are coming in. Oh, and oh, down he goes. Smoshy. That's good. Someone That's saw him. GG. Somebody that got him. GG. Good game. Wow. Wow. That oh, was crazy. Well, I'll tell you what. That was a good win by the Russians. Look at all of them left. Yeah, there's so many. Gosh, half the, they had half their team left. 39 like. kills and 16 kills for the U.S. Great round from the Russians. Wow. Very good round by Russia. Yep, very good. Very good. Jay's glad you enjoyed yourself. This up, brand new. We've got a, a good couple of new ops coming up, I will say. We've been checking out some things, testing some new things. I'm excited to see them come in. We just ran a new one, what, two weeks ago, I believe? It was, yeah, uh, Stampede. It was Stampede. Stampede, that was yep. We Brand new. Absolutely. That was a good one. I enjoyed that one very much. Yeah, first, let me let me throw a shout-out to our commands, Karma Cut and Kirkley. Awesome job. It takes a lot of hard work to, to make those... Mm -hmm. Rounds come together and do a good job. And they're, of course, their squad leaders. They had Ben Bot, Tedish, Nasty Nate, uh, SMP or Paradise, Shadow Ritual, Satan, Google Tracks, and Big Yes. We also had a bunch of cameras. And man, thanks to those guys. I'm going to hammer through them really quick. Ben Bot 16, a crazy Russian, Digit, Google Tracks, Tedish, Truth Realm, it's Crispy, Shadow Ritual, Jay Remick, Best Pony, Merrick 362, and Han Solo. Awesome. I don't know. There, there might have been more, too, that I didn't even know about. My name's yeah. the Muff Bandit. I'm here with CMYK Matter. Absolutely. Have a good night, guys. Appreciate you all coming out. Thanks so much for watching Squad Ops. We'll see you guys later.